Hello, my name is Seth Allen, Online Instruction Librarian for King University Libraries. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get a permalink or permanent link from a database article so that you can share with your students and they can access database articles off campus. The first thing you want to do is go to our homepage. It's library.king.edu and then you want to click on Article Finder. Uh, Article Finder shows a list of all the databases we subscribe to. Now, getting this link uh, is a little bit different for each database. Uh, some databases refer to it as a permalink. Some refer to it as a bookmark link. Some of them refer to it as a stable URL. Um, and there's basically a two-step process uh, to getting that link. Um, not every database is the same. Each one runs on a different platform. So I'm going to show you a couple of common examples, and of course, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to email me or call me. Um, the first one I'm going to pull up is Academic One File. Uh, this runs on the Gale InfoTrack platform. So all of the uh, Gale InfoTrack databases are going to have a very similar uh, look, and the way that you get the um, permalink is, is similar. I'm going to click on the first article here in the popular articles. All right. You'll notice in this database and other Gale databases on the right hand side, you'll see a link that says bookmark this document. Okay, I'm going to click on this and it gives me a URL to copy. So the first step in creating the permalink is copying this URL. All right, now I'm going to go and open up a Word document and I already have in here the um, proxy prefix that goes before the uh, link to the article. Here at King we use um, a proxy sign-in for the various databases and what this is, this is sort of a gateway and it lets um, the computer know that uh, we're, the student is trying to access as a King University user. Uh, since we have databases that run on multiple platforms we have to have a single gateway and that's what the proxy is. So this has to go in front of any bookmarked link or hyperlink to an article uh, in order to uh, get the database to recognize that the person who's trying to access it is indeed a King user. So um, I'm going to provide this uh, prefix that goes in front of the URL um, in the description of the, this YouTube video. Um, so what I did is again I pasted the bookmark link to the article and I'm just going to put my cursor here and I'm going to make this one long link All right, and this whole link here um, this is what you would give to students so that they can access this article off campus. All right. Now I'm going to pull up a different database uh, just to show you what uh, permalinking looks like Another common database is JSTOR. So I'm going to scroll down to JSTOR. And I'm just going to search for an article. All right. I'm going to click on the title and it pulls up a full record. Okay. And somewhere on this page you'll see what's called a stable URL. Okay, so again, you want to copy this link, all right, and I'm going to paste it in the Word document, okay, and then I'm going to copy the proxy prefix and put it in front of this link, all right. So now I have a proxy link to this article, all right, and again, that's in JSTOR database. It's called a stable URL. Finally, I'm going to show you an EBSCO database and how you can uh, get permalinks from that database. Okay, so I pulled up Business Source Elite, and this is a database that runs on the EBSCO platform. I want to just do a search for an article here. Okay, I'm going to click on an article title. And you'll see within this database and all other EBSCO databases, on the right-hand side, there's a link that says permalink. I'm going to click on permalink. 
Now, fortunately, in the EBSCO database, it includes the uh, proxy prefix. So all you have to do is copy this, and you can share it with students. So keep in mind, uh, for any proxy link, if it doesn't have the HTTP easy proxy, uh, it needs to include this so that students can access it from off campus. A common mistake that people will make is to get the URL from up here. And while this works, uh, you could copy this URL and you could share it with other people on campus. Um, the only reason that people on campus are able to access it if you just copy and paste from the address bar is because um, they're probably accessing it from the same IP address for King University's uh, computer network. Um, always be sure when you create a proxy link uh, that you, you want to test it out. Uh, you want to put the um, easy proxy prefix in front of it, uh, copy the entire link, and then open up a web browser that you rarely use. So like I, I usually try to test things in Internet Explorer to make sure they work. All right. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Uh, my contact info is swallen at king.edu. And my extension, or my phone number here, it's 652-6388. Um, so I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.